Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Papa Boris here, playing some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Let's go ahead and jump on in there. There are 24 heroes currently. This is so that if all eight players have the requisite 20 pack acquisition to be able to choose from three, um, they all choose a different one, and there are no repeats, so no two players will ever be offered the same hero. In my opinion, you know, the hero powers, some of them matter a little bit and that kind of makes them matter a lot because you know the hero powers aren't like super huge but that means that if they have any effect at all they're kind of a big deal okay well um a very popular hero is afk which uh, i hate to be on the bandwagon is a really good hero your first two turns are skipped but then you start with a discovered tavern tier three minion and a discovered tier four minion i like to play it slow so this is very fitting for me so lame as it is i'm gonna pick afk dance and daryl's a popular one i don't actually think this one's very good at all though because it's random which minions get buffed and then nefarian is good this is basically for a gold you get to pop all the divine shields so um that's one that i would have picked if afk weren't there and maybe if i get another afk selection i won't pick afk next time but um for the first time i get offered afk we're gonna grab her this is also a good minion to pick if you want to talk about the game a lot, because you don't get to do anything. You still have to wait for everyone else to do their things, but your first two tavern phases, you do nothing. This is the guy I was talking about. He's not a demon himself, but whenever you play a demon, your hero takes one damage, and the minion gets plus two, plus two. So of all the um, one-tier minions, this is the one that can maybe make it to the late game. And the Micro Machine, start of each turn, I actually don't know what that is. I don't know if that means in combat or not, because end of turn in this game means end of the tavern phase i don't know what start of turn means so i'm not sure what happens with the micro machine i don't think it's a very good minion in general though because it doesn't have health so unless you manage to like magnetize stuff onto it it's just going to die with its high attack and you really want the health to survive one aspect that's kind of swingy in this game of course is that if you get paired against afk in rounds one and two it's really really good because you get a free win okay i wouldn't say it's really good it like I've said before, it doesn't actually matter what happens in the first couple of rounds, in my opinion. So it's it's just nice that you get a free win. But if you get paired against AFK in round three and four, then it's really, really bad luck. Because unless you had some explosive start and you're playing very fast, um, the random tier three minion and the random tier four minion in round three and round four will typically beat whatever most people could have acquired up until that point. Okay, let's watch Mr. Sandman here. Pyramid beat us up a bit. So he used his hero power, give a random filling minion plus two health. I cannot possibly think that was a good play, especially for given that this is the thing that was getting buffed. I think that person should have just refreshed their tavern. But okay, so here we are. So now we get a tier three minion. Let's see, mechs are widely considered the best synergy, so I could just start trying to go for mechs. Um, we'll get a shredder here, and then tier four. All right, let's start in on the madness. This guy, end of turn, so at the end of every tavern phase. I'm going to upgrade my tavern and refresh, see if I get anything that supports mech stuff, not here. And sure. We'll go for these boom, boom, by boom guys. Keep up the momentum, friend. This actually was a little bit of a tame pick since I picked like a, a buffing thing, so it's possible I'm gonna actually lose this. All right, still pull it through. Oh, it's gonna be a tie! Wow. All right, so maybe I'm very bad at this game where I chose very slow rolly type of minions. So that person got off easy getting to tie against AFK. Okay, let's get Mr. Kaboombot. We're gonna go ahead and put him. Up front, it does mean that there's a chance that he gets the Iron Sensei's buff, which I guess isn't ideal, but that's okay. I'll take that risk. Minions plus one plus one. Um, hmm, how valuable is this? I mean, this thing wants to die. I think maybe for me, that's not the right one to get. Another Kaboom bot. All right, well, I want to go for uh, the triplets because triplets give you discovers of the next higher tier. Uh, let's see. I could just put this... Yeah, I think I want to put this first and have it die. Even though the Shredder hits harder. Because getting a chance to maybe kill something I think is more valuable than hitting something really hard first. Especially since there's a decent chance that um, the opponent's first minion is some Divine Shield taunt thing. And 
you end up wasting your high attack. Okay, the Sensei is hell-bent on buffing my Shredder. This person seems to be taking a slow rolly approach as well. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. Shutter Walk does want to kind of go for combos. Um, because you can get some very, very crazy effects. There's like a minion that gives you plus that that, that uh, gets plus one health for every damage your hero has taken as a battle cry. So if you double that, that minion just has a ridiculous amount of damage. And then um, you know, it's almost impossible to kill unless you get very lucky. Oh right, there's a kaboom bot. Okay, well, let's do this. So it's a four-four. That deals, I believe, eight damage. Oh no, four damage to random enemy minion twice. I see. So they doubled it that way. That's fine. And now we get a discover. Tier three. Oh, I'm still on tier two. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Well, let's go ahead and grab that. It's fine. Stick that there. I don't think I want to freeze this. Well, I do have two of them. Okay, we'll freeze that. Pretty much everything I have is a mech, so. This doesn't give health, which is the problem, but I'm two thirds of the way there to a triple. I am taking a really long time to upgrade my tavern to tier three, which is unusual for me, but I think maybe next turn I can upgrade. Okay, so he's also got a Kaboom bot, just a regular kind, not the double kind. My Iron Sensei is completely expendable, I don't care about that. Looks like we're gonna win this one because the Boom bot just finished the job. All right, five damage is respectable. I'm taking her mechs away from her. And now I'm going to take away another couple of mechs. Um, so get that. Get that. Now I'd have to sell two things to upgrade my tavern, so I guess I'm not going to upgrade this turn after all. Let's refresh. Pogo Hopper. You can. There's a strategy where you try to go for tons of Pogo Hoppers. Um, it's better if you have or like Shutter Walk and you can double the Battle Cry or have Bran. I'm not going to go for that at this point. Let's go ahead and do one more. Flip, and there is a third Metal Tooth Leaper, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so my mechs are very high attack. I'm not really buffing their health at the moment, so I'm hoping to get, as I upgrade the tavern, something that can buff health. Um, each turn that you don't upgrade the tavern, well, basically, each turn that when you enter the tavern, the cost of upgrading the tavern re reduces by one. But you have to be careful not to get sucked into a trap because it always reduces by one, but once you upgrade to the next tavern, the cost resets. So, like, it costs um, seven gold to upgrade to tier three, and it costs eight to upgrade to tier four. So, whenever you upgrade to tier three, it's going to be uh, eight for the tier four upgrade. And so, the sooner you get to the higher upgrades, the sooner that those higher costs begin to get discounted. So, you don't actually gain gold by delaying your upgrades, you lose gold. Like, my tier 3 gets upgraded, gets discounted quite a bit, but had I upgraded already to tier 3, my tier 4 would have been getting those same discounts. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and get my triple. These I don't really want, so now we'll upgrade. I definitely need to do this. And start refreshing. Alright, this I'm not a big fan of. I can start going for that again. No, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, Alright, Pogo Hopper again. That thing's whatever. Lots of crappy stuff there. You are the Demon King. Okay, so we're not going to freeze this. We'll just play this. Well, let's play it second. Uh, it is a 10 attack thing. So, um, you know, getting to hit with it could be good. Interesting. Okay, this is a bit risky. But um, I'm gonna do this. And I've, had I played this first, no, I, I, I couldn't have. I couldn't have changed the order because I had to play this to get the discover card that gave me this. So I have two of them. My hope is I get a third one and I can basically cash it in for a discover. I'm not concerned about the effect anymore because um, we're getting late in the game and it starts time to start building stats and try to actually get like a big board that can kill things. Um, but uh, playing it and rolling the dice that maybe I can get uh, and the third one is I think worth it. What are people's taverns up to? Three, four, three, four, two, four, three. Okay, so I'm not like crazily behind being at three at the moment. All right, we're up against the Lich King who's in third place. Okay, Divine Shield popped. Getting an eight, eight guy. Luckily it wasn't a gold version of that mech thing, of the, of the Robo Egg, because that would have popped, I think, two eight eights. All right, that ended up being a pretty comfortable victory. Lost a bit of damage there with the attack orders, but I don't really care about doing that much damage. It really only matters if you're like one-on-one -on -one and you don't quite kill them, then they come back and kill you. That's pretty much the only time I think it matters how much damage you're doing. Okay, don't think I care about any of this stuff. Could upgrade to four. 
I mean, I, that was a pretty comfortable win. You know what? Let's just upgrade to four. Let's just get there. And see if we can get, like, a good thing for to freeze for next time. Okay, Magnetic Divine Shield Taunt. That's pretty much what I want. So, feels bad to freeze here. Wish I had something to spend my gold, last two gold on, but that's fine. I could actually... Hold on. I could actually sell one of these senseis to get this right now. Is that... Does that make any sense? I don't think it makes any sense. Um, well, no, it does... Gold does not carry over, so I get to use this two gold. I think it actually does make sense. Um, so I'm gonna... Hmm, the one with more health is the one with more attack. We'll keep the one with... More attack. I'm gonna give up on the dream of getting a triple. Let's do this now. What do I want to buff? I think I'm just gonna stack as much stats as I can on this shredder. Um, so we're gonna go do this. This guy should really just be attacking pretty early on, because he's very low health. And if he gets attacked by some weak ass thing, that's bad. Obviously, if there's a taunt divine shield, he's wastes I waste a big attack. But everything attacks pretty big. This thing has the lowest health though, so I want it to get its attack in before everything else, since um, there's a chance that you know it's not going to get to otherwise. Okay, lots of taunt divine shield here, unfortunately, which is a shame. So I'll waste the attack, but then again, everything would have been wasted. This person, what is this? Ah, yes, for a minion dies, gains one attack. Fine. Shredder is taking a beating. There's the Divine Shield Taunt getting hit for the first time. Okay, that's fine. Ah, I did lose a minion, so I'm missing out on some damage. Not the end of the world. Still nine damage, which is more than half his health. It's fine by me. Okay, I froze this. Why did I freeze it? Oh, I should have unfro- I, I froze it, then I ended up buying this thing. Uh, and then I forgot to unfreeze. You can freeze and unfreeze. Oops, that was a mistake. Well, uh, let's see, do I want to get my tavern tier up? It's a bit risky, but I'm gonna do it. Let's just tier up and start trying to get the big stuff. Bran, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save Bran. It's possibly a mistake, but I like the Bran potential so that any battle cries I buy can be doubled. And there's also a Khadgar here, so there's a chance, like for example, Khadgar and Alley Cat is a good combo. Because with Khadgar and Alley Cat, you get two tokens, so if you get another Alley Cat, you get a third token and a discover. I think it's possible that at this point, I'm too late with that train, because uh, you do need the space. So you, you can sell the Mama Alley Cat, but you still have to be able to like fit another one and have it actually spawn. So it's like a lot of space that needs to be taken up by it. But uh, the brand I think is worth keeping on. Actually, um, Bran, Cadgar, and Alley Cat would just give me a discover if I was able to sell off enough stuff. It's interesting, this might actually be worth selling off. It doesn't have very much health. It's got a Divine Shield, but no actual health. So it's possible that I should really just get rid of this thing. It looks big, but it isn't that impressive, and maybe it's worth it to do that like economy gambit. Wow, that's unfortunate. That Divine Shield was rather a large deal. So we get that, and his Divine Shield pops immediately. Oh, he's getting his Robo Egg Discover or uh, Reborn. Very cute. Okay, so I'm taking a hit. I was at the top. I don't really care about. I think the, being at the top or not is just pretty much meaningless. Um, but I did get beaten there. So, oh man. Okay, so is this gonna work if I sold this and this and this? How much space do you actually need? You need Bran, Cadgar, Alley Cat, and then. Yeah, if you have, uh, no, you you can only have one other minion for that whole thing to work. Because Bran, Khadgar, Alley Cat, that takes up three spots. And then you still need three more spots. Yeah, so I'd pretty much have to sell everything except for the Shredder. I think that's wrong, but I'm going to get Bran, and I'm not going to do the other thing. So I spent, like, half of my time thinking about that stuff. Um, aha, this is the thing. And that's, I think that's worth it. So the question is whether I do it now. My, my hero's taking 14 damage, I can get 28 health. I think I'm gonna wait. I'm probably gonna lose something, some point here. Okay, this is a bunch of garbage here at tier five. Uh, death rattles trigger twice. Yeah, I think I want that. That's good. Because this works really well with the shredder and with this kaboom bot. Because this kaboom bot would mean that I'm now dealing like Four damage twice, twice, so it's a total of 16 damage being tossed around. I think that's worth doing. Granted, the, the, the Baron might die before I get to pull this off, so I'm, I might need more taunt than what I have to actually be able to protect my guys. All right, that was actually a big hit that mattered. This person is going for the Pogo Hopper game, so they have got some pretty huge stuff. Um, I might actually still win this. 
Yeah, and my Powder Shutter didn't even die, so that's good. I don't do too much damage, but um, I'm happy just to not have taken damage there. Although, that means I <laughs> this, this, this combo here is still not that good. Okay, so what was I doing? I was getting Baron Rivendare, and do I want this Magnetic? Yes, I do, because I really want to get more Taunt, and this thing might need to go at some point. So, well, I don't want this to get... Divine Shield, I want this to die. So I guess it's gonna be this guy? Becoming a taunt. And... Do I pull the trigger on Bran and him right now? Well, let's see what we get. Let's roll first. So there's Khadgar again. These guys, there's two of them. I still don't want to go for that at this point. Um, this is a bunch of crap. Uh, this is just a taunt Divine Shield, not the Magnetic. Hmm, bunch of garbage here. Another Shredder. Interesting. So... The thing about the Shredder is I could get a triple, and it keeps the stats. I think that's actually worth it. So, do I pull the trigger on this combo right now, or do I lose a battle? The problem is if I lose a battle, the, the benefit I get from having this be bigger might not be worth it. So, I'm going to actually sell off the Sensei, stop the buffing train, and play Bran, and this guy. And I'm going to put Baron Rivendare at the very end. I want him to have the highest chance of sticking around long enough for this Kaboom Bot to die. In case this thing attacks something that doesn't kill it, this thing is going to take a long time dying because it doesn't have... Um, oh, you know, it actually might make more sense to put this nearer to the end so that Bran can kill himself off, for example, and have this thing go. Well, let's see what happens. So, it could kill... It could, it could die if it attacks this thing. Yes, okay, so it dies. Good. I get the damage on. I killed off his Kaboom Bot but also some other stuff, which is good. Oh my god, is this gonna be just a beatdown? Uh, yeah, so he's getting an 8-8 eight, eight and another one of those guys. He's gonna get another 8-8, eight, eight. so he's going for the combo game, but it just did not matter. I might actually finish this guy off, not that I care. Well, you know, finishing a person off is nice because you wanna really make it to the top half. That's what's considered a good outcome, is making it to the top four. So if you kill someone off, you're like, you know, one step closer to getting there yourself. Okay, so what was I doing here? Right, I was going to go for the piloted shredder. Let's see if that ever works out for me. This is an interesting one. It's kind of, it's a weird one. I mean, it's random, so I'm not sure how often you'd ever really want to spend gold on that. All right, nothing here. A magnetic, this would be a lot better if it had more health. The weird thing is it has low health, and the death rattle, you're often by this point just lacking board space to do that with. Okay, this is interesting. So... I do like the idea of this, but I would need things to combo with it that I don't have. Like, it'd be nice to get a magnetic thing on it, you know, so that it gets attack power and can kill itself off, that sort of thing. As it is, I think I'm just going to pass it up. Go ahead and hire one of these Beast, attacks. Dragon, and Murloc. No mechs here. Uh, okay. Give a friendly mech. Okay, yeah, that's, that's absolutely 100% worth it. I just need to... Make room by selling something. Yep, the time has come. The Psychotron, I think, needs to go. I mean, it's got four health and I could start buffing it, but at this point, I might as well just play this and just make my, you know, best thing even better. Remember, I have Bran, so my Battle Crash trigger twice. I do have two Death Rattles, but this thing, it's kind of hard to have the board space to actually get both parts of it. Um, okay, so we're gonna. Okay, this... Oh, that's not the magnetic one. Damn it. Don't like this guy. Don't like that guy. So I'm not going to freeze this board. Should I play a piloted shredder? I think the answer is yes, I should. Um, it's not going to have enough room to take advantage of Baron Rivendare, but it is still better than that 2-5 that just dies and does nothing. At least I get, like, one thing off of it. I could have tried putting it later to see if something else would die. Maybe, like, my boom guy could die. And then I could get an extra spawn. Might have been smart, actually. A big buff for all of his beasts. Oh, he's the secret dude. Hey, oh my goodness, that could kill my piloted shredder. Uh oh, that's unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. Well, at this point, it's RNG. This Kaboom Bot might kill off the Cobra. So we'll see if that works out or not. And that could actually swing the tide of the battle. So I'm getting four bombs here. Nope, nope, nope. And oh, so close. And then he pops the Divine Shield. Oh my god, the guy got to attack the Cobra, and he uh, was a 1 in 5 chance. Oh, that was very lucky. So my huge Shredder lives. I think I could actually have lost, because, I don't know. I don't know if the, the giant health on this would have actually been enough 
to make up for the fact that my Shredder died. Okay, so one more person is dead, which is great. I just need one more person to die. Can someone have killed somebody? Nope, no one else died. Uh, quick rules note I didn't mention. If you, uh, if there is an odd number of players, somebody at random is chosen to attack one of the dead people's last boards. It's obviously advantageous to be that person. Okay, I wanted this. I don't want the micro machine, so we're gonna mulligan. That's the not magnetic one. They look so similar. I think this is too late for that. So we're gonna just, uh, this is interesting. I don't think I'm gonna grab it. Okay, this is this Murloc spawning one. Yep, definitely, always want that. So um, at this point, um, it's a matter of priorities. How much do I value Baron Rivendares? It's basically really useful for the boom. Uh, it'd be nice to get another pilot shredder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh twice and see if I can get a third shredder. Cause that would, is what would be really great. And then I'll decide what to do about my thing. Okay, so do I keep the shredder or do I just give up on the do double death rattle, which really only matters if he lives, but enough things die to make space. Can I actually play this? No, I can't. Okay, I am going to sell off this Baron. I'd rather get a golden card, golden shredder than have the Baron up. Now let's go ahead and buff my I don't want to put the... Oh, wait, I might as well do this. Right, I might as well do that. Right, let's start building up my other piloted shredder. See if that... Because these stats will get added to this guy's stats. But maybe balancing things out is better. I'm not sure if it's better to balance or to stack. I think it depends on whether this poison is stuff. So a really big RNG element here is whether this thing pops a divine shield or not. It looks like it's got a 1 in 3 chance of uh, popping a divine shield. Nope, that divine shield's gone. So this is going to kill something. Unfortunately, and it's gonna kill my huge health thing. Ah, uh, does it die? Did that do that damage to kill it? Okay, it did, good. Okay, this guy's got one of those giant healthy things as well, and it looks like I might actually lose this. It's gonna be close, because this thing has a bunch of health, my thing has a bunch of health, whose thing has more health? His thing currently has more health. Uh, oh, and it has also more attack. Ah, uh, yeah, so he wins. 10 health to spare. Okay, that's a lot of damage just from Tavern Tier and this being a five-star minion. So, the mighty fall very fast. And, oh, no one lost. Okay, this is very tense now. Hmm, I really want to upgrade to Tier 6, but I think I need to improve. Well, I am not fighting that guy anymore. I'm fighting against someone who's very low. Then again, you, this person was very low as well, and they didn't die. Hmm. If I roll on a higher Tavern, I can get one roll and maybe get a Tier 6 minion. No, I'm gonna refresh. We really wanna find a, sh a piloted shredder for that gold version to save up space on the board and get a tier six discover. And it'd be nice to get some more buffs. What is this? Ah, uh, interesting, okay, that's good. I'm gonna get it, because I already got one of them. Um, you can be sold. And then you can be played. And then now I am just Rolling the dice, I'd like to get another one of those, or another Shredder is the main thing I'm looking for here. Nope. Running out of time. Oh god, I just need to click faster. I don't know if I got the freeze off in time. Okay, we got two of these, we'll see if that makes a difference. Wow, this entire thing is Divine Shield, okay, you do that. I really have no idea what's gonna happen here. It looks like he doesn't have particularly high stats, so I might be able to get away with murder on this just because these things have 29 health a pop. And now I have taken more damage. If I get lucky enough and find a third one of these, that would be a kind of big deal because it would, um... Oh, I got a Cadgar from a Shredder, which actually gave me an extra spawn for my other Shredder. Interesting. I think that Kaboom bot actually might not be very good anymore. Oh, I am gonna die. No, I'm, I don't win this. My opponent's minions do so much damage that I, I just didn't have enough health on this thing to last it out. Or did I? Oh my god, I no, I didn't. Oh, is it gonna be a tie? Is it gonna be a tie? All right. Well, the bad thing about it being a tie is that my opponent lives, so I'm not guaranteed to be to get a, to get a winning outcome. Had I killed him, he would have made up the last of the bottom four, and I would have um, won. Um, okay, so do I want these guys to have Taunt from the Defender of Argus? This thing is starting to get a little bit on the weak side. 
This would give him plus two, plus two, and time. I want these guys to have more attack. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get the defender. I'm not going to commit yet. I want to see if I can roll another one of these guys or another shredder. It's basically what I'm trying to do. Uh, plus two attack to max is interesting, but I got 40 seconds. I got to work fast. I did run out of time last time. Overkill. I don't think that... And there's two of them. I still don't think that's going to work. Don't have any amalgams or murlocs. Uh, I think I want to get this... Ah, uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm committing. I'm going to get rid of my Kaboom bot. Now that I don't have the Baron anymore, it's not as good. And let's go big on my biggest. Sell this thing off. Refresh a few more times. Junk bot's too little too late. There's this third shredder. I freeze the board. I get these guys taunted. And hold my breath. Uh, uh, any little extra... Um, attack on these guys makes a really big difference you got this. You're way ahead. okay so i am fighting against the person who's in last place although this person has hung on for dear life for quite a few turns so they might have built up a really huge deck ah oh, yeah they're the pogo hopper i don't have any um what's her face i don't have any poison which can make it difficult for me to get through these pogo hoppers luckily i got a divine shield for 32 attack on this pogo hopper which is a big deal he did get poison on one of my huge health guys unfortunately so um that poison is really doing work for him God, what's gonna happen here? This thing? I want it to hit this guy. Oh my god, that Kaboom bot killed off my Shredder, but the Shredders drop! Oh my god, that was huge. Alright, I was very lucky. So my Shredder drop gave me the minion I needed to prevent this from being a tie, so finally someone dies. Oh, and then someone else also died. Great, okay, cool. Um, all right, I am sadly not the person who gets to, this guy gets to fight a dead person. I am fighting an actual living person. What are we doing here? We're getting the Shredder. I think the time has come. All right, I guess I should really play this thing. And get my Discover while I've got time to think about it. Okay, well, there's some good stuff here. This is obviously really good. It would be better if I had the Baron. I'm going to grab the Faux Reaver and do the kind of typical thing where I put him first. Um, because it's a cleave effect and that can be very strong. Do I have the gold leeway to upgrade my tavern to start spawning sixes? I'm giving up four rerolls. What am I really trying to find? Another one of these? Yeah, I want more rerolls. I really want to find another one of those guys. Magnetic Divine Shield Taunt. Uh, that would be good, actually, because... Let me sell this Argus off. I can give my Faux Reaver Divine Shield. So if my opponent attacks first, this thing's guaranteed to live. Wait, he didn't have taunt, so he was guaranteed to live regardless. Okay, that was maybe stupid. Um, I'm really trying to get another one of those. This would be absolutely monstrous if I can get a third one of these, because... Oh, hang on a second. That is... Hmm. That's worth it. Even though it means... No, 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 no. I really want to try to find one. I really That's just the main thing I want in my life, is to get a third one of those guys. It didn't happen. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to freeze that. that no, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> don't want the freeze. Uh, Cave Hydra is good and stuff, but it's a bit late for that. Next turn, maybe I'll upgrade the tavern and then roll a bunch okay so we got a poison divine shield here It'd be nice if i could pop this divine shield perfect all right i don't want this thing to hit my high health guys luckily it hit my divine shield which is really really lucky that actually gives me a decent chance of making it here all right my my high health guy attacked him because it has taunt right okay uh oh my gosh that worked out very badly both my high health guys attacked into his giant health taunt i wasn't able to kill it fast enough so I lose this fight because while I do kill this eventually, his 69 health guy is going to defeat whatever pops out of this shredder. Okay, I want, yeah, it's good that these microbots die because each one of them that lives is an extra damage that is dealt to my face. Okay, so this guy obviously lived because he was fighting a dead board. Um, it's actually going to be tough. I think my opponents might have better boards than me, so I'm pretty lucky to have made it to the top three at all. I'm again fighting the same... No! I got rolled to fight a dead guy's board. That is very fortunate. Well, then that means I definitely want to upgrade my tavern at this moment. Because um, I want to start getting sixes. That is not... A... This is just really not a very good six. By the time it comes up, it's just not that great. All right, I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go all in on this Faux Reaver. I just cannot get a third one of those to save my life. It's possible people will take them. I think other people did take them, so there might just be less of them in the pool. This is probably not worth it. And did I get anything good here? Eh, nope. So we're going to let that just be. So my Faux Reaver is pretty good with the Divine Shield and Cleave Effect. Uh, main thing I'm concerned about is that 
this Yogg-Saron has that huge taunt, um, poisonous amalgam, which is a major problem. Because it kills my high health guys. And they have taunt, which is unfortunate now, because it, has, it can also attack them. Um, so if it, these guys maybe didn't have taunt, that'd be better. Well, the taunt will get cleared off if I get the gold one. Because you keep all the stats, but you do not keep Poisonous, Taunt, or Divine Shield, or other buffs, if there are any that I'm not thinking of. Oh, so Yoxeron killed off the other guy. So, um, there it is. Holy, this this gives me the chance I needed. This clears the taunts off of these guys to make it less likely that his Poisonous Amalgam um, hits them. And then, I took a lot of damage. So this thing is going to have just an absolutely monstrous amount of health. Just gonna be freaking ridiculous with Bran. Now, the, his poisonous amalgam is basically the one thing he's got that can help him deal with that. So, the question is, um, how do I deal with it? I'm gonna actually grab Zap here. This is a good sniper type card because it can it, it bypasses that poisonous taunt and can give him and can give me a chance to kill off some of his other support cards. Uh, what are we doing? I think I want this defender for just more stats. Let's start rolling. What am I really rolling for at this point? I'm not sure what I'm rolling for. Another defender to try to get an extra discover. No, I'm not going to fit them on the board. This is good at some point in the game. Oh, God, shit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. This is my weakness uh, here in the game end state. I'm not sure what it is that I should be rolling for. My shield for okay, let's re-roll one more time. I don't think I want to keep the taunt having plus two attack. Okay. Well, this guy having a bonus is good because it increases the likelihood that whatever he attacks gets killed. So he's going to snipe, what, the 9-7 and the 7-7? Seven, seven? That may be a good thing. Ah, oh, he sniped the egg. Well, that wasn't a good thing. Okay, so Foe Reaver, do not hit the poisonous. Please don't hit the poisonous guy. You hit the poisonous guy. All right. Well, that did not kill that thing. Oh, man, this is bad. So I really want my Pilot of Shredder to keep the Divine Shield when it attacks this thing, and it didn't. So I think I'm actually going to lose this. Because this, this poison, with the high health, makes it so that when random things attack it, it doesn't die. And then it serves as a really phenomenal counter to Mr. Health a lot over here. Yeah, oh, that's so unfortunate. I just, you know, maybe what I should have done is I should have tried to get more power stacked onto one minion. Because then I maybe could have killed this. And then my 200 health guy would have carried the day. Anyway, that was a good game. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe if you did. And I'll be back soon for some more Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Oh, now nah, if you're sticking around for some bonus time here, I actually didn't see what happened in the, uh, in, the in the rating there. Um, so, oh, interesting. So it keeps your first place top four, but it does not show your bottom four, and full stats are not available until after the beta. Okay, anyway, uh, that's enough of that. I'll see you guys soon.